Okay, welcome back everybody to Whistle Thicket. We are in our new hay barn, and if you've been following along, we've prepped this area, we got gravel, we spread it with the uh, tractor nice and level, and this hay barn was built in only four hours by the company we bought it for. A lot of times when you buy these metal barns, which is just a fancy carport, the insulation is included. It took two guys four hours to do this, 20 by 30 by 12 feet tall. It would have taken me quite a bit longer, probably several days. I'd have to figure out how to do it. Um, I'd have to have friends to come help me. It would have been a big, big project. Those guys knew what they were doing in four hours, and it's here. So this hay barn is really going to help our farm because a few years ago, we have four horses and a donkey. We switched from square bales to round bales because round bales um, would last anywhere from 10 days in the winter to three weeks in the summertime when they have access to grass. Um, so it was a lot easier for us to use round bales as opposed to square bales. But the problem was we didn't have anywhere to store them, so every three weeks or so, I'd have to drive an hour one way, so a two hour uh, round trip to get two hay bales in our truck, bring it back, we had to unload it. Um, and we did that for over a year. And then our hay guy suggested, he said, hey, I could deliver 15 bales to you at once, uh, as long as you pay for it up front, um, so we talked about it and we thought that was the best route to go, but we didn't have anywhere to store it. We were storing it in our little carport, a few in the barn, in our horse run-in shelter behind this barn. But the problem was that storage was taking up space for a different purpose than we intended it for. And it was kind of, you know, stressful figuring it out and it wasn't fun. So. We talked and we got this hay barn, and this is gonna really help us to never run out of hay again. We're gonna have an area for round bales. We'll probably get a few square bales as a backup, but this is really, really gonna help us. Um, I laid out some um, pallets here. The hay guy's on his way, which is good because we're down to our last hay, actually. It, it might last us another day or so, and then we would need to get square bales. So the hay guy's coming, we got this set up, He's probably going to do, I bet, five on the bottom and then stack it, and then we're going to have another single row in front. And like I said, this is really going to make things easier for the farm. The only thing we're missing is hay. And now we got hay, people. Um, luckily, our hay man came with his buddy, and this guy is an expert with the tractor. Um, I'm a little nervous if it's, you know, triple stack, but he has a much bigger tractor and he will triple stack his hay at his farm. This is uh, 13 bales here, and then we loaded another bale in our hay hut. This is going to last us several months. We're not gonna run out of hay again, and we have plenty of room to get more hay in here. We also have our tractor in here. So here's our Kubota. This is where we're gonna store our tractor for right now. And if we ever get so much hay that we fill up the entire hay barn, that's gonna be okay. We got other places to put our tractor. It's all good. But this is just the first step, or well, this year at least, of making our farm more efficient. If we can make our farm more efficient, we can do more, we can enjoy ourselves more. We have horses because we enjoy riding and my wife loves training horses and working with people. And we take family horse vacations. We have a little uh, horse camping trailer. Um, we've gone to Tennessee, Kentucky, North Carolina. And it's something we love to do as a family and we're looking forward to that. So this has just been a short video about our hay barn and loading hay, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, subscribe, say hello, and tell us what you're doing on your farm.